I consider myself to be a man of knowledge. I spend hours on hours every single day extensively researching topics ranging from finance to geopolitics to society to cuisine, etc. And today I will be putting that knowledge to a test by taking the most sophisticated quiz out there. Are you smarter than a 10 year old? My goal, as always, is to not fail. And if I do fail, so let's do this, cowboy. All right, here we go, ready to demolish this. All right, so our first question is, how much time does the Earth take to revolve around the sun? So it takes a year, which is 365 days. However, I think it's actually a little bit more than 365 days, which is why we have leap years. So I think it's like 365 and one fourth. So I'd lock that in. 365 in six hours. Good start for us. Earth's longest circle of latitude is known as the equator. What are longitudes also known as? Well, the longest longitudinal line would be the prime meridian, so I'm guessing meridians. Meridians, nice. Two for two. Maybe I'll finally pass one of these. So the next question is a math one. Find the product of 456 times 124. I'm guessing I can't use a calculator, so let me pull up the notepad. Okay, so 456 times 124. I haven't done this in a while. That's gonna be 24, carry the two, that's the two, throw the two here. Now we drop two zeros. 56,544. Okay, I see my math skills haven't failed me yet. Okay, moving on to grammar. How many nouns are in the following sentence? The rabbit ran to the cafeteria and ate a big salad. Okay, so the is an article, rabbit is a noun, ran is a verb, to is a preposition, the is an article, cafeteria is a noun, and is a conjunction, ate is a verb, a is an article, b is an adjective, salad is a noun. So I would say three, rabbit, cafeteria, and salad. Kind of killing it right now, four for four. An adult human has 206 bones in their body. How many bones does a baby have? So I know babies have a lot more. Off the rip, I think it's 300. I remember actually making a video on this like a few months ago. The reason babies have more is because their bones start to fuse over time, which then eventually reduces the amount. Killing it, five for five. Question six, what is a fable? So when I think of a fable, I think of the tortoise and the hare, like one of those Aesop fables. And I think the main thing behind it is that it's trying to convey to you some like moral message. So I'd say it's a fictional story that often conveys a moral message. Final answer. Okay, a short story typically with animals as characters conveying a moral. I think that's exactly what I said. This is our day. Question seven, so if a car is traveling at 40 miles per hour, how long will it take to go 190 miles? So a car can go 160 miles in four hours because it's going 40 per hour. So it needs an extra 30, which would be three fourths of an hour or 45 minutes. So four hours and 45 minutes, final answer. Reason, seven for seven. Okay, so now we have a science question. What are the three states of matter? This question's kind of incomplete because there's way more than three states of matter. So they want me to say solid, liquid, and gas, but there's actually plasma, Bose-Einstein. I think there's like two more random ones. So I'm pretty sure they're up to seven now. But for the purpose of a 10 year old, I would say solid, liquid, and gas. Okay, we have a long one here. Mary has to walk one mile north to school and one mile south back from school. One day, instead of walking home after school, Mary walks two miles east and one mile south to the store. In which direction does Mary have to walk to get home from the store? Okay, this isn't too bad because she already traveled one mile south returning to the x-axis, so now she has to go two miles west and she should be home. West. Okay, so now a cooking question. I'm not sure what 10 year old is cooking. A pound cake traditionally contains a pound of which four ingredients? I must say, I'm not a massive baker. I took a cooking class in college and we made a couple of cakes, but we definitely didn't make a pound cake, but a pound cake is so simple. So what do you need? Like eggs, flour, butter, and I'm gonna go with baking soda to help it rise. That feels like a good answer. Sugar. 
How did I get that wrong? Okay, a science question. What is the name of the positively charged subatomic particle that appears in the nucleus of all atoms? So the positive would be the proton and the negative is the electron and the neutral is the neutron, the proton. Okay, a history question. The French and Indian War, which began in 1754, became the North American theater of what worldwide war that lasted from 1756 to 1763? I honestly don't really know. I don't really even have a guess. I thought it was called the French and Indian War. So this was pre-United States. Is it not just the French and Indian War? Maybe it's a trick question. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. The Seven Years' War. Oh, wait, 1756 to 1763. That's seven years. All right, geography. Can you name the island which is considered both an island and a continent? Australia. Still holding strong, only two wrong so far. Calculate 111,111 divided by 11. <sighs> Let me pull out the notebook for this one. Okay, so let's do 11 on the outside and then that in between here. So. The answer is 10,101, and we're absolutely right. I find it hard to believe that a third grade can do that long division. Okay, another geography question. Which South American country shares its international land borders with 10 other countries? It's gotta be Brazil. I can't see it being any other country. It's just simply not large enough to be touching other ones, so Brazil. And it's Brazil. Okay, so when referring to historical time, what does BC and AD stand for? Okay, so I went to a Catholic school growing up, and I'm pretty sure that BC means before Christ, and AD means like Anno Domini, which is Latin for like after Christ. So I'm gonna say before Christ, Anno Domini, final answer. So now we have a technology question. Don't think this is gonna go my way. What stores short-term memory programs and data in the computer system? I have no idea. I just bought an SSD card with four terabytes and that is just like storage, like data storage. So is it just like a storage drive or disk or something? Random access memory, oh, RAM. I live my life on the computer and I forget that RAM is short-term memory, ironic. All right, another one down, but we're still doing okay. By what name was the modern day city of Istanbul known in the 13th century? This is Constantinople, and the reason I know this and remember that name is because there used to be a book by Dr. Seuss. So thank you, Dr. Seuss. And correct. Next up is science. What are the freezing and boiling points of water? Okay, so I know that water freezes at zero degrees Celsius, which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. That's considered freezing. And boiling, I think it's 100 degrees Celsius, and I don't know what the Fahrenheit is. Maybe 215? No, 212, right? Yeah, so 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Final answer. So the next question is approximately how old is the Earth? Isn't it crazy they know how old the Earth is? I think it's like 4.4 billion years, maybe like 4.5 billion years. But yeah, 4.4 billion years old, 4.5. Okay, we'll count that. Okay, so in the sun's core, hydrogen atoms fuse together to form what other element? Are they asking me about nuclear fission? I'm 10 years old, how am I supposed to know this? I don't know, I'm just gonna say carbon. I know it's wrong. Helium. If you're watching this and you could find a 10 year old that knows the answer to this question, please send me proof. All right, next question. There are seven continents that make our world. Name the largest continent. The largest continent by a very long stretch is Asia. A lot of people think it's Antarctica because the Mercator projection stretches out the continents on the poles, but Antarctica is actually one of the smaller continents and isn't even the size of like Central Africa. And that's right, what do you know? All right, time for history. In what year did World War I start? So World War I started in 1914 when Archduke Franz Ferdinand was... And that supposedly immediately started the war. And then it lasted for like four years. All right, next question. In which country is Mount Fuji? Japan. I'm actually visiting Japan in a month. Let me know if you want to see content while I'm there. All right, so what is the largest animal on Earth? I love how they say on Earth as if I'm going to be considering these like extraterrestrial figures. The answer is the blue whale. I know the African elephant is the largest land mammal, but the blue whale blows that out of the water. It's probably the size of like 15 of them. And there you go. 
I actually want to pet a blue whale. I was watching Avatar 2 and it made me like fall in love with whales. Many people are aware that Neil Armstrong was the first man on the moon. Who was the second? So the answer is Buzz Aldrin, apparently, but it brings up an interesting thought. Do you think that Neil and Buzz were on the Apollo spaceship going to the moon and they rock, paper, scissor to see who could go on first? Because they knew how monumental this moment would be. And I'd like to believe that if that was the case, Neil used rock to beat Buzz to keep him from going on the rock. Get it? All right, anyways, next up. How many colors are in a rainbow? Well, let's see. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo. I never understood why indigo is included in this. And then violet. Blue, indigo, and violet are all kind of the same color. Like, how are they different colors on the color spectrum? I think indigo, like, paid somebody off, like, some back-end politics to be included in that. But the answer is definitely seven. There we go. Next up is biology. What is the hardest substance in our body? So they want me to say bone. And I think I might. What else is harder than a bone? Not my fingernails, which are bones. Not my skin, not my nose, not my ears, not my head. Maybe my head, but my skull is a bone. My teeth are pretty hard. Are they harder than a bone though? I think I'm gonna stick with bones here. It's gotta be, right? It is teeth, how is it teeth? Okay, so the final question is a sports one. Feel good about this. Who won the 2014 FIFA World Cup in Rio de Janeiro? Oh God. Feel good about this. So Argentina won 2022, France won in 2018, and I have no idea who won in 2014. Oh, I feel like it's definitely a European country. My mind's going Netherlands or Italy. I'm gonna say Netherlands. I know they've been pretty strong over the past decade. Germany? I think I did pretty good, all things considered. I'm definitely getting better each video. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to watch this video, this video, and I'll see you next time.